Hello, my name is Dale Wilhite. I live in the French Farmer in Mountain Village, Colorado. Uh, if you want to find out anything about me, you can go to MySpace, where I have a uh, page there. This one here is about what would happen if Al-Qaeda were to uh, defeat the United States in the, on the war in terror by bringing nuclear weapons into the United States and holding the United States hostage uh, demanding that President Obama or some future president surrender or they would unleash those suitcase or briefcase nuclear weapons into some of our major cities like Washington DC, New York City of course, Miami, Dallas, LA. But more than likely they will probably choose uh, Washington DC uh, and probably near the Pentagon in Virginia and probably uh, New York City. Those would be the main areas where, if I were a terrorist, that's what I'd be, where I'd be striking, especially while Congress is in session, or the President's giving a uh, State of the Union uh, speech. But nonetheless, there are a number of nuclear weapons missing from Russia that were that are called suitcase nuclear we uh, bombs or nuclear weapons, and uh, are briefcase. They can, you can actually put a nuclear weapon in one of those uh, a suitcase in a briefcase and detonate it if you. Uh, uh, in another country or pretty much anywhere you want and that right there is the biggest fear I think that uh, our people have in Washington DC about uh, a future attack that's why I've been pitching the concept about a fire brigade uh, actually fire brigades being created in the United States that uh, are similar to the National Guard except that these are professional firemen and women who uh, 1500 strong I guess each uh, there'd be three brigades who are prepared to move in and fight a major fire, especially if uh, nuclear weapons are detonated in a, a large city. Those fire brigades are going to be needed. Those are those videos are on MySpace and on YouTube about that. Anyhow, if Obama were to surrender this nation to the terrorist to Al Qaeda, uh, among the among the first things they're going to do, of course, is kill most of our politicians, execute them. Uh, they're going to American flag is going to go. They're going to kill every Jew they can, they can find. Uh, and in fact, there'll be a lot of Americans who'll probably do it for them. Uh, that's the kind of country we have now. They would have one of the. This tape is really about the icons of the United States. They would probably kill all of our icons, our sports stars, our uh, musicians. Our movie stars, uh, anybody that's famous, and most women who are CEOs, models, uh, entertainers, singers, politicians would be killed because one thing they're not going to put up with is women working in the workplace. And to kill that image of women uh, being out of the home, let's say, uh, they have to they have to kill off all the icons. And that's where people like Alyssa Milano. Uh, Milano uh, Raquel Welch, uh, you name it, uh, Susan Day, uh, Hillary Clinton, all of them share, all of them would be executed because the icons have to die. And they're certainly going to kill any uh, woman that's uh, maybe that's done adult oriented things in the television, movies, or on radio. That's, that's for certain. They will, they will kill uh, anybody they deem an adulterer. Uh, even though there's no proof that uh, any of these people have ever had sex with another man or something that's married or anything. But they will kill all the icons of, of America. And the entire entertainment industry will become a thing of the past. They will destroy every movie, every film that they can find. And they will kill every single person in the entertainment industry. That's why I find it so odd how many of these entertainers it is that uh, don't really think that this war on that's been waged on us by Al-Qaeda is that serious. I don't think they have the intelligence to realize that they're going to be among the first to die. And I don't think they have enough intelligence to realize that yes, America can be taken. We can, we can be forced into a, a surrender. When you're in the President of the United States and all of a sudden you find that uh, terrorists have nuclear weapons, they can detonate at any moment uh, right down the street from where you're at or where Congress is at and you gave them an ultimatum that may probably come from overseas uh, out of Syria, Iraq, Iran, uh, Yemen, Yemen, uh, even Lebanon. That you either surrender or they're going to be detonated. you got five minutes. 
Some say, well, is it possible the United States would really surrender? Yeah, it's quite possible. It, who knows what, what, what they would do at that time. If I were president, I would never surrender. If I can't live free, if American people can't live free, no surrender. So anyway, that's what this is about. I'm trying to warn people when I'm trying to tell people that that if we lose the war on terror and we are taken from within, we are going to see a blood path unlike anything that the world has ever seen before. Because most Americans can never survive under this. And all of our icons are going to be among the first to die. So I would think that these entertainers in Hollywood will get their act together and realize that they're the ones who are going to be targeted if we lose this war. Everybody goes. All the singers, Shania Twain, everybody. Uh, Charlie Daniels, what's left of the Leonard Skinner, they all are going to die. And they will be executed. We cannot lose the war this war. And people better wake up. Thank you for your time.